Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Cloud 2. Let's continue where we were. Okay, so we got a red seal here. So if you guys remember the limited floors from Dark Cloud 1. Same idea with the seals. <clears throat> But I think we'll be okay using Monica. This floor appears to have a red seal on it. Max has been chosen by the red at Lamilia. You can't switch to him. Okay. We just got Monica. Let's not mess this up. Also, in a couple days, I hope I have... We can't use the ride pod either. Because you have to be Max to use the ride pod. So, we're gonna wanna try and be careful about things. Oops. Okay. those turtles is challenging with her. Okay, right, that's not solid. We're gonna want to not throw it into the woods, because if it drops something, we won't be able to get it. Mess that up a little bit. feels underpowered. I feel like I should make an effort to try and level it up. Although maybe, maybe it is waiting for levels? I should check. Okay, sword isn't zero, armband is one. So, that's kind of slow going to get this leveled up, unfortunately, but, uh, I do think I'm going to need to get it. I don't want it to fall behind. I didn't check while we were on the uh, dungeon map to see how far we were from the next checkpoint. 
Ow. About this for a moment. Hit him with a rock. There we go. All right, we got a repair powder. That's handy. And an armband repair powder. Also good. Red. All good things. Things I've been spending. Alright. And we got the map. shot in there. Alright, we got some enemies over here. many levels on to the uh, wristband as we can. Armband, whatever. Dick. Oh, great. That's an annoying combination. Can't throw you. Of course, you get a shot in. Salt away. Ah, damn it. I think I can hit the tail. I thought I was hitting the tail earlier.
All right. be very dumb if I died right now. God, I have so much health up. Ow. Looks like we got them all. Red seal has been broken. Now if I wanted to, I could switch to max. We got four synthesis points and three on the sword. Okay, so what does it need to build up? I don't know, I'm going, I guess go down the top path, the attack and flame. Recognize the flame. Let's see if that does the trick. Well, we have the power crystal. Not quite enough, but it is very good at killing plants now. Or at least better than it was. Back beast scale. should be good to continue. Though I do wonder if I should... There's an item, I would've lost it. I should duck out of the dungeon or not, so I can either resupply or just... See what's what. I think right now I just need to keep making progress. The only reason why I'd leave is to resupply, I suspect. Which I think... I think I'm okay for now. Man, really? It's that many floors just to get to... Okay. No, it's okay. It's right here. <laughs> Good. I was like, man, I have to go that far. But no, that's that's a different branching area. We have we have made it to where we're trying to get to right now. Hey, there they are. The whole lot of them. Hold on. Something's up. Huh? Yeah, something weird's going on. Let's try talking to them. Well, okay. How about you? Ah, oh, rat. Everyone's gone all weird. The fish aren't biting. What a drag. What happened to him? Beats me. I got separated from my three buddies, and when I saw them again, they were like that. They won't go anywhere, you see. So I'm just killing time with a little fishing. How long you been out here fishing? Although, you know what? I'm uh, pretty thirsty. You wouldn't have something to drink now, would you? Mmm, uh, something smells good, that's for sure. Yep. I got... Ah, this'll do nicely. Just what I wanted. Thanks. Here, you can have my rod. Take some time for fishing. It'll clear your head. Gained fishing rod. Come back any time if you run out of bait. 
the fish. First, equip a fishing rod. Don't forget to attach bait, eeny, in the item menu, or you can't fish. Once this is done, stand at the edge of the water and press X to begin fishing. Alright. Well, talk to these guys. I ain't going back. I'm going to live here forever, and there ain't a thing you can do about it. This place is amazing. Just being here gives me incredible, this incredible feeling of happiness. Ain't no way we're going back. I'm happy here. Just go away and leave me alone. Alright, no, no different lines for Max. Because sometimes you do get different dialogue, but... Yeah, I'm not going to double check everyone. All right. I bet some of you may remember this fella. From the first game. Hey, isn't that Master Utan? You know that thing? Is it safe to go closer? Yeah, it's all right. He's a pretty well-behaved monster. He doesn't hurt people. Except for that one time. But it looks like and something's wrong with him. I guess the future him. from Is now. Okay? What's the matter? Are you hurt? Humans, hmm? Don't see them every day. Now that I think about it, there was another half pint bumbling around earlier. Again, that kind of messes with the timeline, but whatever. It's not worried about that. This starting to get nice and crowded these days. Never mind that. You look like you're in pain. What happened? It's pitiful, really, but I was awful hungry, and somehow got my hands on the forbidden fruit. When I did, my whole body just up and froze like this. And I couldn't move. My fault for messing with the Holy One's food. Okay. I'll bet the Holy One must be pretty ticked off right about now. So you ate one of these, huh? It's a poison apple. No wonder you don't feel so good. Never mind. Don't worry. You'll feel better after you rest for a while. By the way, who's this Holy One? The Holy One is a great fish who's brought happiness to this forest. A holy fish? All right. Monica, maybe this has something to do with those three back there. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I'm starting to understand now. This Holy One must have bewitched those three somehow. I bet the Holy One is really a big fish monster. Well then, Master Utan, where can we find this Holy One? Didn't you see a big old swamp on your way here? They say the Holy One lives in that swamp. I haven't seen it myself yet. All right. Swamp, huh? Yes, I think. Yeah, I oh. remember. I don't know why now it's cutting off the audio. I was just trying to fill in the subtitles. Let me see. A big fishy monster named the Holy One that hangs out in the swamps bewitching people. <laughs> this ought to be fun. Let's go check it out. Right. Thanks, Master Utan. You've been a big help. Hey, don't forget to mind your manners when you're dealing with the Holy One. Okay. I don't remember. Can I get apples, poison apples from him, or did we take them? Probably just the one is fine. We'll practice fishing with the Mimi first, like the game probably expected us to. I mean, you know, you don't have to, but... Although, do I, I don't have a camping... I don't have a cooking stove yet to cook the fish I catch. I'll have to buy one, or do I invent one? I don't remember.
you know, I'm now realizing we never did any fishing in Dark Cloud 1. Whoops. Maybe I... Maybe we did a little bit? I can't remember, but, uh... Oh, well. I guess I kind of just kept pushing that off and then completely forgot that I was going to. If both plays... So, you could use fishing in Dark Clan 1 to get gems and stuff. Um, personally, I feel like it's among the slower ways of doing it. I've always loved fishing in games, and I do enjoy it in Dark Cloud 1, but I feel like um, it's a little bit more tedious and stressful, whereas... What's going on here? Come on. Give me... something. Come on. Anyway. Here, it's not like there's a limited number of fish and then you have to, like, reset the session or whatever. I don't think. But uh, I don't exactly remember all the mechanics, because they definitely made it more complex. Plus then there's like an aquarium and you can train and breed fish and stuff. Come on. I don't know, there's a whole thing to it that I don't fully understand either. Maybe we'll get more into fishing this time around, rather than trying to speedrun our way through the game, like we did with the first one, sort of. I wouldn't really call that a speed run, but you know. Okay, this has just been nibbles I've been getting, anyways. Come on. Give me something to work with here. There we go. I barely, I barely reeled. Okay. That's okay, we'll, we'll do better this time. There's like a whole kind of sequence you gotta do. Come on, come on. Got a fish. Catch fish and earn fishing points. The exchange FP command in the fishing menu allows you to trade fishing points for fishing rod abilities. Yeah. Do a little bit more fishing. Although maybe maybe we can save fishing in like specific levels. Probably want to actually do is go and fish over here. Poison apple. It is the holy one's food, apparently. And we are after this holy one. waiting for a moment.
Come on. E not even a nibble or anything? Oh. Why don't we try fishing it out? Yeah, that's what I was doing. Huh? Fish it out? Well, we've got a fishing rod. We know the Holy One likes poison apples. And we've got plenty of bait. We have two apples. Let's give it a try. Go on now, try it. Uh, okay. That's what I was doing. Did you unequip it? What is going on? Rude. Little help, I'm slowly sliding in. That's a big fish with very human teeth. What's going on here? There's a hook stuck in my beautiful lips. Is this your doing? I won't forgive this. All right. You're the one that made the little ones act so strangely. You must change them back. No, oh, yes. More victims of my beauty. Really, beauty can be a curse, you know. All right. <laughs> anyway, why are you here? I already told you. I want you to change those little furbits back to the way they were. Well, such a thing would be quite simple, my dears. Okay. But nothing comes for free, you know. Business is business, and everything's business. Oh boy, this is gonna be another pain. So what do you want us to do? So the little boy understands too. Listen carefully then. I won't say this again. Mwah. Yes, what what is it? As everyone knows, I'm very fond of beautiful things. But here's the thing. Recently, you know, I've become a bit well dirty. Oh, it's so embarrassing. But listen to this. There's a fish called the Prisleen Fish that can clean up all the dirt from my body. So what I'd like you to do is go over there and catch it for me. You've got all that fishing gear, so you may as well use it, don't you think? Well, do you get my drift? <laughs> okay. A Prisleen Fish? Okay, and when we get it, we want you to return those three back to normal. Yes, I know, I know. You don't have to tell a man twice. What? You're a guy? Well, Monica, get, get with it. I'll be waiting. Guys can be femme. All right. I don't know if it matters which pond I fish out of. And if I need specific bait. I guess we'll just try both and hope we get lucky. I do not mind sitting here fishing for an episode. 
Especially good change of place. Change of pace after last video I recorded which was a bit more stressful in nature. This is a separate, this is a new session from the last uh, Dark Cloud session. Come on. Niblin, there we go. Alright! I feel like I'm moving slower with this thing. Yeah. Get your hands in a little pris clean. When my beauty is marred, it is truly a worldwide catastrophe. Be a dear and hurry and find it for me, okie dokie. Yep, here it is. <laughs> you caught it! Oh, excellent! This lovely bristling fish will kiss all the grime off my body and make me look stunning again. All right. <laughs> right. You Calm down, bud. Return those three to normal. Oh yes, of course. Is this what you were after? So now those three are better. Well, why don't you go have a look? Well, uh, please excuse me. I wish you the best. <laughs> well, he's certainly cheerful. I'll give him that. Let's go and look. Right. All right, then. I'm so relieved I can't tell you. What in the world have I been doing? I cannot remember a darn thing. Last thing I remember, I was thirsty. And I drank some of that swamp water. Oh. I can't remember anything past that either. Don't I drink water still water, drink. guys. You've all been under the Holy One's spell. Could have been a lot worse than that. The Holy One? Who's that? It's a fish monster that lives in the swamp. You guys almost ended up trapped here forever. Oh, that's crazy. Well, what are we going to do about Holly? Oh, sure. We got to look for Holly. Well, you guys have probably been kind of tied up here for a while. Maybe head back. Hold on, guys. We should come up with a plan first. Let's go back to Sindane. You should return to Sindane for a while. You can get out the same way you came in, or you can select the escape dungeon. Select escape dungeon from move in the main menu. If there are no monsters in your area, you will not lose any money by selecting escape dungeon. All right. Back to Sindane. Thank you. 
It's you! Is everyone all right? Boss! We were gone a long time. What have you been up to? Huh. We'll tell you everything later. What about Holly? Where is she? Where's Holly? I am sorry, but Holly isn't anywhere. Okay! Hold it a minute. Listen, you two. Now that we've got everyone together, it's time for us to hold up our end of the deal. In return, can I ask you two to go search for Holly for us? Yep. By the look of things, I guess Holly really did find that legendary rainbow butterfly. It must be true that all those who lay eyes on it never leave the forest again. I mean, that seems to be the case for the fish as well, while well, he's drinking the water. Like, it seems like there's a lot of hazards in this forest. The only way to find Holly is to find the rainbow butterfly first and fall under the same spell. And then, just break the spell, of course. Of course. Rainbow butterfly, huh? I don't know. Do you really think it exists? Alrighty, we got ourselves a deal. We'll help you guys okay. out, and you go find Holly for us. Alright? All clear? Okay, we'll try. It's settled then. You better get a move on, lads. Yeah! Alright. gonna do I have no idea what in the world's that noise what's that thing the means by which this this game can follow in the footsteps of the first one what the heck is that I don't know <gasps> wow whoa I can't believe it! This is just amazing! What an incredible machine! <laughs> How cool is that? You like that, eh? With this thing, you can make anything you want. Plant trees, build houses, whatever. Truly amazing! Can I get on board? Sure! By all means! All right. This here is the control room for our pal, Carpenterian. Carpenterian. This is the ultimate building machine, forged from all of the technology handed down through our further generations. Besides houses and buildings, it can build lots of natural things, too. Even trees and rivers. Looks like we can bring back Jurak's origin point with this. Hey, yep. don't forget to find Holly for us now. Yes, we know. What's that? That's the reactor where you put the geostones. Geostones? Yep. Geostones are mysterious stones invented by the ancients. The Geo Stones contain all the advanced knowledge of the Ancient Ones. The stand-in for the Atla. Carpenterian is a revolutionary machine that uses the technology packed inside the Geo Stones to make new things. When you put a Geo Stone into the reactor, Carpenterian can star the data for building whatever is recorded on the Geo Stone. That way, you can make new things. Just to warn you, even with the necessary data, some buildings can only be built on certain types of land. Georama explanation added to menu, or to help menu. It's fine, I, I, like I already Monica know the gist. Someone changed the forest here. I'll show you guys. But if you collect stones hidden in the forest, you just might be able to change this place back to the way it used to be. Sounds great. We'll do it. Let's go then, Monica. 
You bet. We're counting on you to fight, honey. Max, look! Huh? It's a time gate. You can pass between this time and mine through this gate. You just use that stone, you're at Lamelia. What? You mean this red stone? Yep. That's right. It's not just a pretty rock, you know. It's got mystical powers that let you pass through time. And the one I've got is the blue at Lamelia. They each have their own powers. Red brings you to the future, and blue to the past. With the two of them, we can use this gate to move back and forth between past and future. When we get Jurak's origin point back, we can use this gate to go see him. Hold on a minute. My father gave me this stone. Why did he have something like this? They say an Atlamilia can pick who it wants to belong to. It must have picked your father. And then it picked you, Max. What? Me? I mean, yeah, you're wearing it, so... Anyway, the main thing now is to get Jurak back. I bet Jurak can tell us all kinds of things. About Griffin, about the Rainbow Butterfly. I guess you would know. Now we've really got to get to work. We have to get Sindane back into shape and bring back the Great Elder, Jurak. All right. All right. You now use Carpenterian, so why don't you try rebuilding Sindane? When you change Sindane, it may affect other things in the world as well. You can jump through the time gate 100 years into the future to check. You may meet people you've never met before or find new events waiting to happen there. But first things first, right now your main priority is to bring back Jurak. Yep. Okay, so. Things work differently here than they did in the first game. First game, you have the parts and, like, the buildings and the pieces to go in. It's not so set in stone here. Um, you can make any buildings you have the ability to make. Any, like, do you have the resources to build them? You can make as many buildings as you want, as much foliage or whatever. Whatever you have access to making. Like, right now, we can just make the Furbit's house rocks, logs, and grass, but when we get more geostones, we'll be able to get more. Um, I think pollen is, like, it's just kind of an upper limit of how much stuff can fit into one of the towns. Uh, you can also, like, paint buildings and different stuff, and, like, this is places all the things we have built already. Um, I think culture tab just tells you, like, what buildings are here and who lives in them. Um, you will populate the towns from mostly from people who live in uh, Palm Brinks. There's a few exceptions to that, but yeah. Um, and so you're basically repopulating the world, recolonizing the world, I suppose, is another way to think about it. But. And using that to, s to restore events in the future so you can progress through the story and have people and buildings and locations and events occur that had been prevented by the world being more or less destroyed in this timeline. Um, and yeah, so analysis. This is kind of... These are all the things that we need to do to, like, restore, um, the future. And, like, they they will become revealed as we collect geostones and stuff like that. Some of them may just require kind of piecing things together by talking to people in the world, I think, as well. Or, like, completing earlier objectives to unlock what the later objectives are. I'm not certain. It'll... It'll make sense later. Right now, we have not, we don't know anything. The only thing we know is we need to restore Jurak, but what that involves is unclear. Um, every floor in the dungeons from here on out, I believe, will have one Geostone. And a Geostone usually has a few things stored on it. It's just 
data of how to do things and like analysis about the town that dungeon is attached to. So it's it's basically a straight upgrade to the way uh, city building works in the first game. It takes it's it takes a little bit more thought in certain ways, and like you do get the the bonus of like the complete town. You go into the future, and then you have you know everything is kind of set the way it's supposed to be. But then you also can move some people out of uh, Palm Brinks, and like. They can be in your party and stuff, and like it, it's it's interesting ways things interact and all that. But yeah, um, not a whole lot we can do here. There is some like junk lying around. We'll probably move the Furbit's house and like. Let me clean up. Like, I can pick this stuff up and I can put it down again. It's, it's yeah. stuff. But yeah, that's that's the gist of uh, how that works. You can see this is where Jurak once existed, but he appears to have died and has yet to have been reborn. So we can go into the future. There's not going to be much here because we haven't really done anything, but might as well just show you guys that. box. So this is also, if you remember the red boxes from uh, Dark Cloud 1 and Towns, these boxes appear in the future. And they will, they're pretty important because they give you the upgrade items you need to actually get more defense and health and whatnot. Potato pie and uh, fruit of Eden. You know, lately it's been kind of lonely. Feels like something big's missing, you know? Anyway. Okay. I don't recall if there's... I feel like they've made it so things are a set... You know, I don't know. Maybe it isn't set. I'm not sure. I'm concerned that that was a bad roll and I should have saved first. I'm going to look that up. Nope. It is four. It's always four. There is no possibility of randomness. They have spared us that. Okay, so Max is lower health, so he's going to need the, the health more. Anyway, let's go back to the past, unless there's another box around here somewhere. I don't think so, though. It might not be a terrible idea to go look up, go back to Palm Brinks and either resupply or. Yeah. 
Maybe, maybe we need to invent a few things just to make our lives a little bit easier. I'm gonna see if I can just buy a stove. Um, from general store here. Welcome. Yeah. Yay, we can now catch fish to eat. Okay. Probably want... Well, let me see what's got equipped, right? So two, four and two. And then four armband. So... Probably can afford to pick up a little bit of ammo. Or a uh, gun repair powder. Like, ultimately, you kind of have to look some things up, but... So I'm thinking about this. I know I want... We can go across here. Maybe get some more photos of things. Actually, we drove uh, lots of out of town, so we can go to that other part of the city as well. It'll be a smaller area and get the photos there first. I may want to look up in between episodes what I can invent uh, in chapter two to see if we can't, you know, make things, make life a little easier on ourselves. Okay, well, that didn't. Do you have Furbit? Her people will only grant favors to people who are more skilled than themselves. Okay. I feel like there's something I need to take a photo of around here, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, I think shrubbery is already one we got. Thank you. 
Not sure. Maybe, I mean, those will help, because I think those are pictures I didn't have before. Not sure. Okay, the fountain's over here. I don't know if I've taken a picture of it yet, but I'm pretty sure... Do I have what I need for this now? I think this is what I need. Yay, I've invented an aquarium. Say cheese. Okay. Well, I don't have the things to make it yet, but there we go. Um Probably yeah, I probably want to go look through different things I can invent at this stage of the game. Um, let's see here. Uh... Weapons and stuff, recovery items... Let's see if let's see if uh first let's move everything in because this is just messy. Using the using the photos is very messy. Um now we don't have any sort of fire. Where would I get that photo? Oh, I think there's like a Okay, let me go to the other side of town. But I think you can make bread. You know, let me duck into the bakery. I don't know if I can get all the pictures I need there. But I think, uh... I think I already was in there and taking photos. So, maybe it's... the thing I'm missing. I can't get here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. The oven's there. I don't know if oven is... We'll do it. Oh yeah, nothing new. We'll, we'll see oven... Um... Wrong kind of flower, I think. Let's head across town. Although, actually, maybe I should find the next. find a save point and save out for now. Call it for the episode, because this is. This is kind of a big area to explore. A lot of houses, whatnot. I think there might be a save point over at the mansion. Yeah. Okay. Well. That'll do it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time. We'll be doing some inventing and stuff. Let's get, like, catch up on all the inventions we can get from chapters 1 and 2. So we can actually, like, see, see if I can get a hold of some better gear and whatnot. But yeah. 
I'll see you guys next time. Later.